Hello and welcome to Mayo and Taxes 2.0 multiplayer. I think this might be one of, if not the first, multiplayer Mayo and Taxes videos, for 2.0 at least, uh, on YouTube. So, yay us, we're so good at this. Uh, <laughs> say hello guys, I'm playing with Chu and Christo. Hello. Hi. I'm yeah. Christo, by the way, just uh, in case you didn't know. Yeah, I know uh, I've played with this prick before, you'll probably recognize his accent. So we've left this pop-up on the screen. Uh, we're yeah. playing with victory cards, which I've never done yes, before. We yes, we are. And I'm also looking at the Sea of Crowns, which is the uh, the namesake of this video, as those of you watching on the uh, the best channel involved will know. Cards uh, can only be gained above 99,999 development. So, oh, so they're not going to buy it you ever. Can have, you, no, you can have victory cards, but only if you play in India. Ah, uh, okay. Right, so... Um, First off, we want to mention that the first couple of years, maybe up to like 1360, is going to chug just a little um, because there's a lot of events going on in the background. A lot. Um, yes, a lot, a lot. Um, and that all happens in the back end. We're not going to see anything, but we're going to have a little bit of chugging um, because basically the long story short every province at the moment like if you look at your modifiers for your provinces there's nothing or almost nothing here mm -hmm. but that'll just get filled up like quite yeah. quickly very quickly um, yeah. also every province has an estate regardless of whether it is in state or territory and uh yeah there is no province that will not have an estate sounds good so yes. do you guys know what uh Jorts de Poom is. Uh, it's tennis. Oh, okay. We all could do one pause. Uh, uh not yes. quite. Not quite. Okay. Uh, uh, or no, ready. Or no, or no. No, it's good too. One sec. Tell me, how now much development do you have? I have a mighty. When you say development, I have four population. No, you have zero development. That was the joke. Ah, I see. It's a bad joke. Hmm. So, okay. so this mod, in case you don't know, can... is a total overhaul, which uh, adds a whole crap ton of stuff to the game. So hopefully, we'll be able to get navigate our way through it. Oh, Lambert's pause. <laughs> What's up, Lambert? Yes, I paused. I paused so that you can offer alliances before uh, everyone's alliance limit is reached. Oh, good point. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, Slash can't Steve. do that because I'm a typical macro builder for it. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm going to create an army from a nation. Bremen, Verden, Oldenburg could be a good one. You can have two, right? Usually. Depends on your court level. I don't know what your court level is. And neither do you because it's not active yet. We will see it in our states tab when we can see it. But that isn't yet. Okay, I've offered my alliance. Cool. I'm allied to the Papal State. The Papal State, eh? Yeah. Really? One of them, anyway. Is that like Rage Rumble? part of the Papal State, he means? Oh, for fuck's sake. Who cares? More on here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, let's go, let's go. I will raise your fucking soul. Oh, I've got I'm unrest already. Oh, I got 12 unrest! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem right. How do you get that much unrest already? City plus 24. Oh, it's because communication efficiency hasn't been uh, ah, calculated right, cool. yet. So communication efficiency is a new thing that's connected to the distance from your capital and the quality of the roads and government buildings in an area. The higher the communication efficiency, the less autonomy and the less unrest the province has. It basically means that the further away a province is from your capital, the harder it is to own, which Lambert likes and I'm dubious about, but we'll see. I, I do like it. <clears throat> There's also, this, there's also this new fanaticism, secularism slider and church influence to no church influence slider, which is really awesome. I really like it. Secularism seems crazy good. It does limit your oh, ability yeah. to interact with the clergy. <clears throat> which I'm okay with. I I mean, I like, I like interacting with the clergy. Our trade range starts off crazy short range. Um, the other thing I'm going to do immediately is abandon naval ideas because screw naval ideas forever. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that I have mercenary ideas, which gives me a plus twenty percent looting amount. Awesome. So that's gonna be fun. I just legalized. Looting is gonna be very fun. It's legalized witchcraft, so that's fun. Oh, I thought you were gonna say weed. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Fortunately, not yet. We'll have to discover its existence first. Get those uh, get those Arabians to tell us about the hashish they've all been smoking before they go and assassinate people. Shouldn't it only took me four tries to select my navy. <laughs> yeah, the lag is uh, it's quite significant. The game will chug in the early bit, uh, but that I... should reduce. <clears throat> yeah, I did say that already. But yes. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, it should get better. I want to get study all religions, great and small. Netflix, also, if you're and... oh, okay, my my uh, my capital got all of its modifiers already. Nice. Uh, over four thousand ducats of urban infrastructure. Wow, that's quite Holy a bit. Shit. So yes, there's it a modifier on your capital or, or on all provinces. Sorry, about how much urban infrastructure they have. The more you have, the more expensive it is to build buildings there. So my twenty-two hundred yes. ducats. Increases my local construction cost by 140%, which is quite a bit. Yes, it is. Nice. The Burgers Privileges. Tolerating smuggling. Oh. They get noble titles, right of commerce. They are rather autonomous. And you can have capital... <laughs> there's, a, there's a cart that's going mental. The trade routes in this game are a little bit crazy. So there's a cart that was just circling around in circles and jittering backwards and forth while he did it. It does kind of <laughs> look like a, a kid has drawn on a with crayon in the sea, in the Ligurian Sea. Doesn't look very good. We try speed two, please, Chu. Sure. Yes, try and get through this chuggy bit. Milan wants to hire Condottieri. Go for it. Really? Oh yeah, Apparently. Milan is at war with Montferrat. Yes. At the start of the game. Apparently I don't have military access to Milan. So we're in the HRE, which is composed of a mere, you know, how many princes? 134. <laughs> <laughs> so my goal for this campaign is reduce this border gore and conquer as much of the HRE as possible. And trade. Lots of trade, I think. The, uh... There are a lot of crowns when you zoom out far enough. There are a lot of crowns. Yep. A C, one might say, if one were eloquent and attractive. Mm. <laughs> it's a shame that you're not. Who wants to buy uh... my boats? I'm instantly selling all my boats. Okay, so... As soon as that month ticked over, I automatically started building spearmen. I yeah, don't know why. That's, that's interesting. I already started building some, so hopefully I didn't. Yeah, I oh, did I too. I, I, I built two spearmen for no apparent reason. I mean, I'm sure there is a reason, but I don't know what that reason is. Sure. But I didn't pay for them. You sure? I also think I got money. Hmm. I started don't, in, in don't object. into my... I mean, I'm not objecting. I'm just saying thank you. <laughs> You could buy influence in the Curia now. 25 ducats for 10 papal influence. And it actually yes. does give the money to the Pope, which is pretty cool. It does, yes. So how is Although, your education system you're... doing over there, guys? Oh, mine's going up. Yes. Uh, my oh, education... State is... and then interaction. My education, then education level is... It's a 56%. Oh, got me beat, darn it. Yes. Uh, and it is going... It changed by 1.2% upwards. A 1.9. Get wrecked. Yeah, I think I'm just going to increase the funding, though. I really don't want it to go down. I'm just going to increase it by one ducat. So, uh, Chu, do you know how to check that? Your court and your education pages? I'm uh, looking at it right now. Okay, it's 31.1%. Cool. Uh, I'm going to put my a bit of money into level, my court as well. Yeah, my court level is 53%, mm -hmm. uh, but it's going down, so I'm going to increase the funding there as well. Not entirely sure of the ramifications of education. I'm assuming you... it creates more nobles and burgers and whatnot. Not really. Oh, At least I don't think so. No. If you go over, on to education, I'm telling him, and this, this guy just. I have questions about education, and then it will show you. Oh, okay. All the different areas, and then if you look at the modifier under government, shortcut key two, you look at your education, it tells you what it does, and basically all the, you know, all the numbers get higher or lower depending on whether they're good or bad. Basically, I'm going to reclaim Piombino as my next uh, thing. No, where's that? Uh, it is in uh, Pisa, cool. the country. Sounds it's that good. little one with the island off the. Uh... Oh, I neglected to invite the trade league to start off, and now there's less people willing to do it. Darn it! Correct. <laughs> so, Chu, you're a vassal, yes? Yeah. You gonna <laughs> buy for your independence? Or are you happy? I'll content? see about it. You a content little vassal? It depends on the legitimacy of my current ruler. I see. 
You can't sell so ships I... to a rival. Nonsense. <laughs> so I have one great province, one really kind of shit one, and then one kind of medium one. I guess we've got less than 300 ducats of urban infrastructure. I mean, it does I... have roads, though. I'm quite happy with roads. And I have one province. <laughs> So I guess I'm going to build quite but in tall. fairness, it's quite a goddamn good province. It's a pretty good province. I mean, it's not as good as your good province, but uh, I think it's better than Chu's capital, which is nice. Although he does have this Rhine estuary thing, which is spectacular. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Although I do also have a natural harbour. Trev estuary, which I think is about, it's about as good. Could I support your independence? Yeah, anyone can support it. Probably. But he'd probably not accept it. Chu doesn't want me to support his independence, <laughs> apparently. Is there a distance? Fine on my own. Is there a distance modifier? If you were fine yeah. on your own, you'd want independence. Well, I mean, I was just building an army, pretty much. Yeah. Just in case they actually did come over. Last time they okay. didn't show up. So, the slider says it's at like 10%. Um, mm. But it won't tell me what why it's only at 10%. It, the tooltip just says... In the end, since this is a human player, the actual response will be up to them. Unless they dislike mm -hmm. you and you're trying to form an alliance, in which case it doesn't. Oh, your court gives you more diplomats, by the way, if you have a good court. Yes, yes. So I have two merchants, and I can only physically use two. We have completed a mission. Apparently I have three cavalry now. I'm pretty sure I only clicked it once. Hmm, maybe, okay, I guess maybe. I'm, I'm, guess I'm having three cavalry. Can I interact with the burgers yeah. yet? No. Oh my yeah, goodness! Wow. Okay, best change in this mod. <laughs> when you hover over <laughs> offer favors, it says you can't do this unless you've done it in five years. And then under that, it says months remaining 11. Paradox. Oh, nice. Paradox, hire these people. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm embracing my first institution. Do you want to guess how much it's going to cost me? Two ducats. Two and a half ducats. Oh, I was close. Yes, so you were. Meritocracy, Confucius, has apparently not yet spread his teaching to, uh, to Europe is unfortunate so hmm. meritocracy is not yet here it's going to spread slowly the white yes, horde exists it's in the by china now. region lambert is lagging behind on lambert what are you doing Ugh. lambert get your act together <clears throat> yeah i thought you had just good got internet. that pop-up telling me that i'm lagging behind how far am i behind oh uh, i'm you, not anymore okay. it's the game's not progressing so i'd be kind of embarrassing if you were behind now now it is yeah, right, who did I ally? Say, this will probably choices. not last forever. Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, it should be just the first bit, as it lags in. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to roll the general. The favors work the same. Yes, except it tells you when you're going to earn your next favor. Odd, good mod. Okay, <laughs> oh, cross your fingers. Oh, one zero, one zero. Are you trying to communicate with a robot? Uh, did I go all robot-y? Oh, you said one zero one zero. I Was told you I rolled a fucking general. Ah, <laughs> right. It's a good point. I should roll a general. I'm actually just gonna make. Oh my god! I made my leader a general. Three zero two zero. I got a zero so two four. Nobody likes shock. Zero two four is pretty good. I would like a, a siege general. Siege general. If we look at the unit kind of pips, fire is. Obviously, it's less valuable than shock, but it's actually got some fire value, so it's not useless. Speed two, please. Hmm. I'm going to not root out corruption at all. I'm going to just let it rise up to its equilibrium. The estates yes. now cause corruption based on how independent they are, um, which doesn't make a huge amount of sense. I mean, if it was more like corruption, doesn't seem like the right word anymore. No. Because it's not really corruption. It's more like. Uh, decentralization. A new pope. He is said to be corrupt and yeah, cynical. Decentralization sort of makes more sense as a word. Yeah. To describe this. I mean. But there is a centralization mechanic. Say it again, sorry? Isn't corruption decentralizing, though? No. I mean. Inherently, it's not listening to whatever the central authority is. No, it isn't. It's the central authority skimming stuff off the top. Well, that's one form of corruption. You think it's a form of corruption to have, like... I'm saying, like, you don't have to be a part of the state to be corrupt. Business you have to be in some kind of position of power. As well. Yeah, yeah, of course. But if a local leader being corrupt doesn't mean that they're not going to obey the state. You'd have really corrupt 
local sure. leaders that were also extremely obedient to the state. Yeah, that's fair. But the bigger objection to it being centralization is there's already a centralization number. Is there? Just, yeah, if you go to Europe, it's yes. instead of absolutism, they've now got this thing called centralization, although they haven't localized it hmm. quite yet. Again, I want to apologize and explain again that the, the lag in the early game should go away. It's because it's calculating all the estates and stuff. It also went down to speed one again. Oh. Yes. It's because of Lambert. Okay. Yes, it's Good not going to let Lambert. Us. Honestly. Why, who invited that guy? It's not even as if he likes this much. No, honestly. So do you have... <laughs> wow, the pips. The pips. The what did you get? Look at the infantry pips when you get late game. They're crazy. Oh, oh there's the cavalry wow. pips. HLF. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Nine. Yeah, that's absolutely insane. That is a lot of pips. So I'm going for some early expansion here. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to make my pop increase by about 600%. A Jewish synagogue for Lubick. Um. Yeah, all right. Oh no, wait! I'm gonna get more Jews, aren't I? Of course. Where's my Jewish minority? I don't have a. Oh yeah, here we are. Per persecuted Jewish presence. Okay, I'm gonna try and just accept them rather than urge them. How do I accept these Jews? Show religion options. Declare independence from the Vatican! Yes! <laughs> that sounds fun. Absentee Bishop of Lübeck. Heresy and greed, or hire a foreign preacher. Uh, yeah. I think I'm starting the Protestant Revolution, guys. Let's do this. I just caused some. Congratulations. You're a heretic. I just caused... <laughs> it says you're a heretic. I just caused some uh, reform desire. You're welcome. Oh, you bastard. So are you guys thinking of well, uh, Protestantism? Uh, I don't know yet. I live very close to the Pope. He may it's be all the better quite to conquer him. The traders have risen to prominence. Nice. Ooh, Not surprising, considering seen... my trade income is... Oh, no, only 20% of my income. I thought it was going to be much Go higher. look at the province of Roma. Yeah. It's it has this funky little thing on it, and it looks awesome. Little thing? You mean in the trade map? Yeah, it has a little building. No, 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 just on the map. It has a little oh, Vatican yeah. building. Yeah, it's got That's a Vatican awesome. on there. That's cool. I think you're high. I can't That's see anything. That's not the base game, is it? You can't see it? No. Do you guys have vision over you... Rome? No. Yeah, it's it's uh, in the fog I... of war. Hmm. Where is it on the, on the thing? I mean, there's a little Literally church, but there's a church everywhere. Yeah, but like where well, it is it? Doesn't look like a little church. It looks like it. It looks like, like the Vatican. It looks right. like the Chapel of St Peter. And yes. The, the courtyard and all that. Yeah. yeah. It's got yeah. the little courtyard where you, Peter, you wait yeah. in line forever. Have you been? No, I've never been there. I have. Oh, cool. I waited in line forever. It wasn't that great. I don't know. It sounds quite cool. It was all right, but like I don't know. Italy was not my favorite part of Europe. <laughs> no. It was, it was a cool place, but it was too hot when I went there and I just didn't really enjoy it myself. Oh god, Lambert, much. please <laughs> please turn off the urban population thing on the trademark mode. Oh, that was me. Sorry. Oh, sorry, Chi. So the, uh, the, there's ways of showing new map modes rather than adding new map modes, which apparently is like really tricky Oops. to do. They've la fun. layered things on top of the trademark mode. You can do it in the decisions, but only Chu can do it. So we're going to have to do some negotiations as to what we want to see on the, the trademark mode, which mm -hmm. seems fine. How do I make it unvisible? <laughs> Remove it. Oh, remove modifiers. There we go. Yeah. And yes. I lost 25 prestige because I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> oh, I can do it. Yeah, it's the top one. Remove modifiers from the map. Yeah. Oh, God. It didn't pop up instantly, so I pressed it too many times. And now that event's firing for me over and over again. <laughs> go away. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Very different. I didn't War mean is it. Very, very different to vanilla. War? Yeah. Yeah, it's just the, the fact that you have to. Well, loot is one part of it, oh. but having to actually siege every province again. Yeah, I like it. So uh, yeah, I, I do too. It's Check just, out this. I mean, it makes you think. Check out I can't, sport map mode. <laughs> I can't. I can't carpet siege. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have enough yeah. men to carpet siege and siege actually siege it. England won their war. 
lo oh, really? loads of land in Aquitaine. They're rather huge oh, right are. now. Here they go. The count is dead. Good luck. Who's dead? The count. count. Okay, can you see the uh, what the little icon thing over London then, Christo? Hmm. Icon thing yeah, over you... London. Yeah, like the little the building. No. Right. Okay. It's only in Oxford. So I don't know. I don't know why you can't. I didn't download Maybe the you unit didn't pack. Get the mod. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's probably that. All right, I may get that for the next session. And, uh, don't want you guys to miss out on you guys being my viewers to miss out on things. This. Maybe there's something in concentration. Oh, they got Hagia Sophia in. Oh, that's really cool. Yes, it is. We did a and mission. Confirm is cool. <laughs> cool. Let's see if I can see that one. All right, there's something in Al Karak as well. I'm pretty sure this is really obvious to some people what it is, but I don't know it. It's like a Darn. big rock with um, <laughs> like an entrance. Oh, look at this! Thing on the entrance to the rock. Look at the Nile. That's so cool. What, having it just the provinces be around it? Yeah, that's really sensible. I like that. A yes, lot. it is. Can you see the the uh, fucking pyramids. pyramids of Giza? Yes. And a huge okay, camel towering over them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So the Mamluks are massive. Yes, they are. They, they are. are all big. If you check Cairo, it is the biggest city in the world right now. Yep. Or Al Quihara, as it seems to like to be known. Mm. 35 urban population. That is pretty big. There's an oppressed Jewish and Myophysite presence down there. Interesting. I'll go check uh, Lithuania uh, on the religious map mode. Mm hmm. Lithuania. Just map mode. Oh, it's actually uh, Ramova. What? Yeah. They're mm. actually Ramova. Ramova. Yes, they are. That's so cool. But. I don't know if this is like this for you as well, but they've like accepted Orthodox or something. Yeah, it's because... a syncretic faith. It's a syncretic faith. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome, really. Yeah, I like the I like the presence of those. You're a junior partner under Brunswick. Oh. So I I've just sieged Piombino. Uh, one new thing in the mod is a surrender timer. After the surrender timer times up, uh, this province will literally just cede to me. And that only hmm. occurs because it's your core province. Yes, only cores. I believe, I believe. Interesting. So it's know. generally only going to happen with a few countries at the start of the game. Yeah, or if you lose some. Which generally doesn't happen in this game. To, say, I don't know, <laughs> the rising star of Lubick. <laughs> so, um... It's true, the Ottomans are rising, and they're rising against the Empire mm. of the Romans, which I think is very cool. Yes. But have you noticed that their orthodox icon is much cooler in this game, in this mod? So in terms of what level of cooperation versus multiplayer we're going with, we're going for a bit of a mix. In the early game, while we're still kind of getting to grips with things, we're going to stay allied and probably try and work towards each other's interests. But then we think we're going to go against each other, but not to the extent that we're just going to kill each other, because we don't want to end the campaign. But I mean, I expect that these two will pay me a lot of war reparations, that's all I'm going to say. Um, I don't think that's actually accurate. But Neither do I, because you two both started with massively stronger starts. And Lambert has been like <laughs> obsessively, I mean obsessively, reading, watching the, the uh, streams that the developers of this mod have been putting out. So we're going to turn to him for guidance. Yeah. Use, yes. it to, use it to burn his cities. <laughs> At least that's my plan. Good luck with that. My, my greater nobles will have my back. So there is still a demand on lawful territory thing. So I'm going to... Get Bohemia to try and like try and get Bohemia to like oh, me. Oh, I just had a, dis a severe disease outbreak. Plus ninety attrition. Oh, nasty. I think I just lost like seventeen hundred men. So I had no one one month. Holland, you're a yeah. you're a feudal monarchy. Mm, something like that. Exactly that, in fact. I yeah, it I think it changed when I uh, yeah declared independence. You should try and become a republic. Get the trading republics. It's the twisted traders. Oh God. <laughs> Not this again. Sometime in the future. <laughs> I'm thinking about whether or not I want to negotiate a tighter bond or cut down the nobility's power in High Knot. In High Knot. See, that's one thing I like about this mod. You have to think about every one of these events because 
Well, the problem is I have no idea what they do. <laughs> well, you don't own the high you not, so... benefits in the short term or what? less severe um, negatives in the short term by some events, if you choose the other option, it may hurt you in the long term. And you just have to kind of balance that. What do I need right now versus <laughs> is it going to fuck me in the future? Look at this car. It's just these, these horses moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at six ducats and it's going down. So I really need to go to war <laughs> so I can start getting some money off these guys. Oh, here we go. I can demand support. Okay. Privilege on the burgers. I don't mind diminishing my embargoes in order to get 20 loyalty for the burgers. Oh, they're loyal now. It's gone green. Cool. Now I'd like some money, please. So uh, I don't think forts block movement in this mod. At all? Even the big forts? At all. Proper forts? Even the big forts. Yeah, I have a proper Bats. fort in uh, Fiorenza. That's awesome. And um, Bologna was able to move everywhere he wanted without That's... restrictions. I'm going to increase my court's funding. What I really like about this mod is the kind of spending money on your court in education. I really want to try and make it uh, like have a huge court. Favoring your estates yeah. raises your stability, in case you guys didn't know. Hmm. So if you see yes, them favors and things. Did. However, it also raises your corruption. Sometimes. No. Every time. Favors. It will... Favors, not rights. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. No worries. Offer favors. Yes, yeah, so there's favors and there's privileges. And the more privileges they have, the more corruption they cause. But favors are just kind of yeah. like one time things. One time things, yes. One of them does raise your corruption by five. Privileges is what I was thinking. Of. Yeah. Gain three corruption, nobles gain three loyalty. Yeah. Nice. 24 prestige. Get right to you guys. What score position are you in, by the way? Zero. Fourteenth. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got zero score, so... Yeah. I've I'm eleventh in diplomatic rank, so, I mean, get wrecked. <laughs> We're on hard difficulty. Are why? We? Why? Chew, why have you done this? It didn't, I don't remember game? seeing that. Oh, we're on hard. Maybe I can, like, console it out or something. So offering an alliance has a minus 20 modifier because of hard. <laughs> Whatever, stop being babies. Sort of Play the game like it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be played on normal. normal. It's balanced for normal. What are you talking about? It's balanced for normal. normal. That's bad. <laughs> We're playing a brand new Look. mod. It's super complicated on a hard mode. No, it's fine. We will survive. Probably. I mean, I can I look at the options or something. See if nah, there's probably you nothing I can do. You can't. You have to modify the save, and in a mod, that's too dangerous. Yeah. So I'm thinking, do I wait here until Having this guy's main spearman and just immediately stack wipe it? Yes. Get prestige and stuff. Having a theologian increases your tolerance of heretics. Not to upset hmm. any theologians watching, but that is a pile of crock. Yeah, that doesn't make too much sense. I mean, as a as a foil to the missionary guy, I can kind of understand the logic, but it's total. Well, I mean, if you are creating the Protestant Reformation over there, that kind of does make sense, actually. The Protestants went to war for decades to try and enforce Protestantism across the whole empire. Yeah, but that was a long time from now. True. True. Yeah, it's like over 100 years. But so is the Protestants, so... It's more like 100, yeah, like 80 now. The 30 years war. Did we try speed three again? It seems to be running a bit better now. We're on, we're on speed one, so let's just go. Sorry, two. two. Uh, I mean, two. Yeah. Yes. Are you sieging them down? Who? What? Your your overlord. No, there's just lots of cannons going off nearby. <laughs> it looks like you're sieging them down. I like the extra smoke from the sieging cannons. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh, infantry combat ability plus 10% from my general now. I like it. Nice. A lot. I'm almost ready for war. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully getting the uh, emperor over 100 opinion will do the same thing. Oh yeah, guys, oh. vote in favor of all the reforms. Oh yeah, that's the thing. reforms. For the HRE? Ah, oh, right. I mean, don't uh, vote in favor of land freed, but the other ones. Can you still get him to the inner circle? Do I want the guilds to gain influence. The guilds are fine. I lose five Republican tradition. How are your rulers, by the way? <clears throat> uh, pretty terrible. I traded I a good a ruler for a terrible one. Uh, but he's selfish and arbitrary, so... Ouch. Yay. 
three one six. I mean, the six mil is great, but three admins are kind of terrible. All right, boys, I'm declaring war on three people at once. Let's go. Looting policy. Strongly encourage looting. Oldenburg left our trade league because they are at war with us. They can't be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's rather us that can't be trusted in this situation, to be honest. I really want to help my allies, but I don't want to get military access through a million little baby states. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Oh, I just stack wiped the piss out of you. <laughs> the lovely turn of phrase you have there. <laughs> I, I'm you're going onto a boat. Why are you getting onto a boat? You're getting onto a, onto a boat so that you can navally invade a land, uh, a province. That oh, he tells me off for making hoy comments, and he's like, "Oh, we're gonna navally invade this guy." <laughs> this guy. Yes, that's a hoy only thing. Navally invade? It is. It's called an amphibious landing penalty in this game. <laughs> is it really? Yes. I've never really paid attention. But they're attention. still literally invading you navally. Alder von Lubeck. It's morale of navies, heavy ship costs, light ship combatability, shipbuilding time minus 30%. Okay, let's take that decision 100% chance. Excuse <laughs> me. Excuse me. Let's press the button. There we go. Do I want to boycott tennis? It is a decadent sport. <laughs> it is. It's disgusting. Offensive war sport. Uh, I would like some financial support from the burgers. Are they going to give it to me? They did! Nice. <laughs> so they've rebalanced uh, disease outbreaks. It now grants a province modifier if you get a disease outbreak, which is pretty cool. Yes. And uh, it's a horrendous modifier. Like I said, I got 90% attrition in it. Murder. Of yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's not fun. No, it's it it's intense, is what it is. Really damaging. It Which is, is good, it should be. It's more historical. Yeah. My guys are currently suffering 20% attrition. So I'm going to do the gamey thing. Have them leave the province temporarily. Hmm. You know, my little allies did a pretty good job over here. Oh, yeah? Cool. Oh, and there's different levels of disease outbreak. Cool. Yes, severe, moderate, mild, all that good stuff. Do you know if it's evenly weighted? I have no idea. Has disease outbreak gone away yet? Yes, okay, I guess I'll return to the province now. Sure, that's okay. fine. Three. I do wish hey, they were well able to show you this on the actual siege screen instead of, you know, having to slip between them. It would be good. I literally didn't do a damn thing. All I did was raise my army maintenance, <laughs> hey, and I won hey, that war. <laughs> you you were giving moral support. You yeah. were. I'm telling them, we should, go guys, we should, um, get them. We should maybe uh, put a cut in here? Yeah, yeah sounds good. Okay, go ahead, Lambert. All right, well, um, as soon as it pauses... Oh, no, God no, damn it. Oh, okay. Somebody pause okay. it. Okay, cool. <laughs> So, uh, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and um, yeah, this is, uh, it's chugging right now, it won't do in a moment, or in a few years, or whatever, and then it'll be just, you know, game as normal. Yeah, I'm still waging Glorious Conquest. Speed 3, I think. Probably. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm waging Glorious Conquest, it's just mm -hmm. what you do in this game. Yes, right. thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Later.